Okay, so that was Marvel, and I think it's safe to say Marvel had a lot to talk about and a lot to say. Uh, and then we have DC. And Who had they, a little bit to talk yeah, about, yeah, they but didn't it was have, big. They didn't have a huge amount, but, you know, it was like, you know, tread quietly and bring, bring a big stick, and they brought a big stick. Um, you know, um, Zach Ross's face. Snyder. Snyder. Um, <laughs> I, too, uh, tried to forget his name. Yeah. But yeah. It, it never works. Yeah. Um, he I, sucker yes. punched us all. Yeah. Anyway, so he he's on stage, and he's talking about Man of Steel 2 is coming in 2015. Um, and uh, he brings out... Uh, the guy who made, who was uh, the, uh, you know, the army general at the end of the movie, at right. the end of Superman, and uh, I met Man of Steel, sorry, and he reads some lines, and he reads the lines from The Dark Knight Returns, and it's the lines that Batman speaks when he's beating the living crap out of Superman, you know, uh, remember this, Clark, and I'm paraphrasing here. Remember, you know, in your future years, in your personal moments, remember it's my hand on your throat, and I did this to you. I'm again paraphrasing from memory. Getting chills just you paraphrasing <laughs> that that scene is so good in the comic. But then, of course, so he reads that, and the lights go down. Superman logo comes up, and the bat logo appears superimposed over it. So we have Man of Steel two, you know, featuring Batman. Uh, is he, you know, guest starring Batman? How do we feel about this? I mean, this is the one that one of the ones that everybody's wanted. I think the Avengers has shown that it's possible to do this, but we're also at a stage where Batman, that trilogy from Chris Nolan was closed. Uh, Bale has said he doesn't, you know, he, he has no plans to revisit it. Um, Nolan has said that he had no plans to revisit it, and now DC are putting all their eggs in the Snyder basket. Now is Nolan and Nolan's not going to produce it? Well, well, we don't know. I, I, mean, I think Nolan right now they were saying executive producer. I think uh, one of the more interesting things if you step back. So Marvel has Kevin Feig who's running their franchise, and I'm totally blinking on her name right now. But they brought in the person uh, from Warner Brothers who was previously managing Harry Potter. Okay, huh. and she's running the DC stuff. Okay, now, I don't know if she's a huge fan, but sure. having someone that has a vision that's clear that understands, like, hey, this is a seven, right. eight, nine movie. Right, she, deal. Under she understands the big franchise. She understands yeah. the big franchise. That's a good sign. That's actually the best news I heard all weekend in terms of the Warner Brothers stuff. Since unfortunately I don't know her or her name or anything like that, I, it's it's a good it's a good business move. I don't know creatively right. how right, it but that's what I'm saying. Like having someone, but uh, as a business side, sure. that understands like. This is a long tale. This right, is a yeah, frame. Like, right, it's not right, right. just about right. the one movie the next, next movie, summer. The next movie, the next it's about movie, the right. next movie, the next movie, the next movie, the next movie. It's a Marvel movie. That's, plan, an, that's yeah. an interesting move on their part. Yeah. All right. So back to Man of Steel 2. What was, what's your gut reaction? I'll go, and Jeremy, I'm going to go to you first. What was your gut reaction when you, when Snyder, when you saw this and Snyder, you know, Snyder's doing it and Batman's in it? Um, so I didn't like Man of Steel, and I know we're going to get to that later. Yeah. I had a lot of issues with it, not even really in terms of the Superman uh, world stuff, really just in terms of pacing, editing, how they used characters, um, the amount of just punching well, we'll in the get, face. We'll get, we'll get to that. We'll get there. So it worries me that Zack Snyder's back um, when he – when I wasn't a huge fan when – and I'm not a huge fan of the Superman stuff. I really like some Superman stories, but overall I find him kind of a boring character because he's kind of one note. And that's hard when you have a character that can do anything. It's hard to write for him. So I understand why that's hard in the movie as well. Um, Batman in the past movies have always has always been a little too punchy for me, not enough detective mode. And now that it's Man of Steel 2 versus Batman, I feel like it's just going to be a lot of punching. And you need a smart Batman that's a tactician to be able to take down Superman, right? He's well, that's, always... the, that's the beauty of the Dark Knight Returns. I mean, right. that entire section is pre it is basically, you know, just years of work predicated like... by oh yeah, years of research and you know, kryptonite arrows and... and just knowing every bit. And I think that's going to be a lot of prep to try to get across in one movie while still trying to introduce a new Batman because I'm assuming it's going to be a new. Batman universe like it's confusing now because like Goyer's writing it and like if Nolan's on it like but the Nolan verse Batman doesn't count yeah but eh, I'm just confused my head just kind of gets yeah, a little a weird a about all of it because I feel like every couple of years they need to reboot like 
John? Does the Green Lantern stuff count? I don't. I, know. I think everybody's forgetting Green Lantern. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'll never John, forget. how did you feel? Never forget. Um, I smoke and mirrors, man. I don't ca- I, until I until it's actually being shot. Until the script has been approved. I it's it's a great piece of hype. It's fantastic. I'm glad they've got people working on it. It took years to bring Superman back to the screen, you know, and it's just because Zack Snyder's the guy that comes out and says, "Hey, this is happening," doesn't mean it's really happening. Um, I think it's a great idea. I like the idea. At first, well, I, I, th- I think it's pretty much it's pretty much confirmed uh, to be happening when you see the logos up on the screen. They confirmed there was a, there, there was, there was a, a poster. There was a po- there's been posters and dates like that before though. Yeah, well, I know there was not the, the first time. I mean, I remember seeing was it. Um, uh, was it the Will Smith movie I Am Legend? Right. And you saw. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. But even, yeah, but yeah, yeah. even in like they've announced this movie before, a yeah. Batman versus oh, Superman, like world's I think it's finest a, movie. It's a great. I mean, it's a great idea. For the only reason they because they they didn't announce a Justice League film because right now Warner Brothers is saying they okay they have basically two franchises Batman and Superman. How do you combo them together? I like the. I'm really excited about the idea of if they can use the Dark Knight Returns storyline, that portion of the Dark Dark Knight Returns storyline, and basically you're doing the flip side of that of, of what's happening with Superman while Batman's off doing his shtick in Dark Knight Returns, then entering into the picture and seeing that chunk of Dark Knight Returns. But then, then doesn't Superman have to have been around for? Yeah, a long he, time. Yeah. Like what that's he, what confuses that's me. A good qu- that's and they've a good also point. said like they were just going for the tone of that. Right. Not they're not making Dark Knight Returns. No, like, they, if they did that. Inspired right. by, but not adapting. Adapting right. it. Well, that's okay. what I'm saying. Tone, yeah. Like hoping to go with off of that stuff. So it's it's interesting, and I hope they could do it. It's like who's going to be Batman though? Like well, it's the, not going to be Joseph Gordon Levitt. I'm this assuming is, this is where we're going to play. A, a recurring segment that's going to happen probably every time one of these movies is ever announced, and I know we, I know we've got some really cool ideas for the forthcoming weeks. But let's play dream casting, and we're going to dream cast one actor who can be the new Batman, Brandon Routh. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. I would love to watch. Oh that would God. be hysterical. And Brandon Routh take each other on. Brandon Routh, he got such a rough. He got screwed. He, I mean, got, he, he got he got yeah. totally hosed because he was, you know, you have to play it almost like Chris Reeve, yeah. and yeah, yeah. And he wasn't horrible either. That's that's the worst part was that he wasn't bad with what he did. The film itself just didn't click. Yeah, right. but, I mean, I feel like that's the past two Superman movies. Yeah, like I think all the parts as as parts they've all worked, right. and then when you put it together, it just there's um, something that just doesn't click for me. Right. Uh, but he's still su- Superman. Such a hard character to make a movie of because if he could do anything. Why doesn't he do anything? Well, that's the thing. I mean, the, the, you know, Superman's enemies, with the exception of Doomsday, who is just you know impossible to put down. All his other enemies, you you look at Luther, you look at Brainiac, to name two, Bruce Wayne. Well, you know, in Dark Knight Returns, they are all phenomenally smart, right. and that's where it's like using the brain to outmatch, outwit, outthink. 10 steps ahead right. and that's where they need to cast somebody um, for Batman and actually um, I saw I, I, you know, I can't take credit for this I saw this posted somebody posted in the comments section of a website over the weekend and somebody said Benedict Cumberbatch as Bruce Wayne slash Batman Sherlock Holmes as Batman and I'm throwing this out there because I look, I'm a big fan of Cumberbatch. Um, I mean, love it, love him in Sherlock. I think he looks really freaky as Julian Assange yep. in the WikiLeaks movie. Um, I think that he was, uh, and we'll talk about this in a minute. You know, woefully underused, but still held his own phenomenally well uh, in the new Star Trek movie in Into Darkness. But I think that's an out of out of left field. And let's face it, you Americans, you've got to have British guys playing your superheroes. This is true. I don't know so why you, that you know, keeps happening. But um, what, and yeah, I don't know what what is. But I, I that that would intrigue me a lot. As opposed, I mean, no offense to Joseph Gordon-Levitt, um, I see him as Nightwing. I don't see him as Robin. I, I mean, mean throw away. We line just, at we the just end have to movie. assume that's out, right? Like that's done. That trilogy should just be over. It's over. Oh yeah, it's it's like unless closed. they want to do like a Batman Begin or not or a uh, uh, Batman Beyond, Beyond right. with Joseph Gordon Levitt, maybe. But like, you're gonna need someone huge right. and punchy for this movie, right? Like, so come on. Not I'm that I not, and that's John not saying Hamm? what I want. He wants I'm that. just no. I I think Ham. I, I keep throwing out Ham just because I think he's a great actor for something. He just hasn't been cast. Um, some of the rumors I was seeing, I was kind of going through the list of who was rumored to play Superman and who they had kind of narrowed down. One of the uh, bigger names and bigger dudes was Joe Magnanello, who plays Alcide on 
True Blood. I think he has the build for like a Dark Knight Returns, like big, huge right. Batman. I don't know if he could pull off the Bruce Wayne portion, but it doesn't really matter because does he have to pull off the Bruce Wayne portion? No, because, that's the big question. Because Bruce yeah, Wayne's because... not no, because Bruce Wayne's not the character. Batman's always the right. character. Well, Batman plays that. Bruce Wayne. Is right? Bruce Wayne going to be in the film? Right. Well, that's know? true. Yeah. Again, we, you can never even see know. Bruce yeah. Wayne. It's like it could all just be speculation. Right. John, you got anything? Uh, I don't honestly. I, I, you know what? Because everybody talks about Christian Bale's not going to come back. He refuses to come back. This that, and the other thing. All you have to do is hear that beeping of the backing up of the truck. <laughs> exactly. And it, it's you know I don't know and that it, might that might be the and ultimate. If the, if the script is decent enough, oh, well, yeah. let's throw this out there. You know, given the end of the last Batman movie, that could be the way back in where he is out of retirement again. Yeah. You know, he thinks that he's away shagging Anne Hathaway on a beach somewhere in Italy or whatever he's doing. Hell of a life. Uh, it's a horrible life. Um, I'm, yeah, uh, but I mean, and that's the thing. This new, this new villain. Uh, you know, we saw. You know, was it Wayne, uh, Wayne Enterprises satellites in Superman? Yeah. And, you know, so that might be. You know, I, I will not discount Christian Bale returning as this guy who was then, you know, spent his time studying this new alien or whatever. Uh, but given that it's Zack Snyder, hell, Lex Luthor might be might be Batman. But I don't, I don't buy the fact that. Superman existed in the Nolan verse. I don't buy it. He couldn't have. And we've talked about this before. Like, you can't have a world where there's a nuke running around Go- Gotham and, like, Superman's, like, chilling in. Duty do, yeah. Huh? Like, oh, well, I'll let it work. Like, I buy the fact that Batman could exist in Man of Steel because that all takes place in, like, one day. So he didn't have right. time to get over there and help. Like, fair enough. But at, at no point should Superman let. Well, that he, world, like he would Gotham, be almost exist. Yeah, he would have came but, in, picked up the nuke, and just so, thrown it. Like but, you know, all right. One so, was in it. One was in a lead line truck. But the other thing is, um, he can and still there throw has lead, been, just can't see there it. has been a, um, you know, precedent set. If you look at the No Man's Land series for Batman, where Batman is cut off, uh, where Gotham is basically abandoned after a earthquake. And uh, all the bridges are, you know, uh, blown up, and the rivers are mined. I mean, and he'd obviously lifted that piece for the for, right. for the last section. And Superman only comes in once because Batman is there, and Batman says, "I don't want you here. Go away." Right, but Batman doesn't even know Superman exists but, yet. But, at this yeah, but, that, but that's like, the thing. So, I mean, if, if you want to, if you want to retcon the ending of that, and I thought that's actually what they should have done in Man of Steel is set up Man of Steel of like you have a young Clark Kent at like fourteen. And he sees all of that going on in Gotham, and that's what makes him want to be a hero instead of like, ah, oh, tornadoes and really bad anyway, decisions. Right. I have a, sorry, I had really quick. I have a Batman. Okay. Oh. Uh, and ooh, I, I apologize if I'm getting your name wrong because you're a fantastic actor. Uh, Jason Clark is that his name? He was in Zero Dark Thirty. He was the interrogator. He's in Lawless. He's got a bunch of stuff mm. uh, coming out. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, and he's got a great face. He's got the jaw. He's and he's Australian, so I believe so it would fit into the uh, making sure the Batman's never an American. Yeah. Okay. Um, but yeah, well, I think I, mean, I believe you know, his name is Jason Clark. You had you had Keaton Kilmer and. Uh, uh, Clooney. And, and Clooney, yeah, uh, you know, the, the, and they didn't do very well. But anyway, all right. So I'm I'm nervous about this. I think it's a film too early. Yep. Um, well, they also said just real quick before we move on, they said Flash. They didn't give a date, but they said they're going to do a Flash movie, uh, which I think is probably the weirdest one to do a standalone out of the Justice League because I just don't think. I don't know how that's going to hold up. I mean, I'd rather see a Wonder Woman movie at this point. Or yeah, seriously. Like, I, think, I think we all would. Or, you know, you know so they're talking about rebooting Green Lantern again, but who cares about Green that? Lantern, Green Lantern, Green Arrow. Sure. Like, there's just so much to do, and they have so many characters. And yeah, they're not, give us a I Wonder just, Woman. Yep. Just so, give us a Wonder Woman. A lot of outlets have been saying, who won Comic-Con, Marvel or DC? Oh. We're not going to answer that question, because you know what? That's a fucking stupid question. At the end of the day, the only ones who won are us, because we get to look at really cool shit over the next couple of years.